In this video, we are going to explain what the sandbox token is, what is a virtual land, and how to get sand for free with the play to earn game. Hey everybody, it's Acho6. This channel's focus is to bring you up to speed on topics of the cryptocurrency world by making it easier for you to understand the information presented in the videos. This will be done through analogies, stories, and examples. What is the sandbox? You may not know what sandbox is, but it is a virtual gaming world based on the Ethereum blockchain where players can create, own, and profit from their gaming time by using NFTs and sand money as the main utility tokens. Within the sandbox platform, there is currently a voxel editor, a marketplace, and a game maker. Voxel editor. It allows you to create a character, have it become an NFT, and sell it on the marketplace as a digital good. By using voxels, you can build assets easily. This is the equal of a 3D pixel that can be used to build a lot of assets and have them animated as well. Game Maker. Players can create 3D games without coding skills and in a very short time using the Sandboxy's Game Maker. Marketplace. In the Sandboxy's decentralized market, the NFT maker generates in-game assets that can be traded. There are now a lot of players who can create, share, and sell game assets on the network to prove ownership and make money from their games. How does the platform help the players? With Sandbox, players and creators are supported by blockchain technology and SAND tokens. The virtual world users will be able to enjoy true digital ownership, security, and stability. And besides trading, there is also cross-application integration. Inside the marketplace, assets created and uploaded to the ecosystem are automatically converted into NFTs. The unique nature of non-fungible tokens allows them to be sold for money or cryptocurrencies. What is a land? To own a piece of the metaverse or a land, you have to use the SAND token since it is an essential part of Sandbox. SAND is the currency that is used to keep the values of land, NFTs, and governments. It is also used for stacking and governance. The land, on the other hand, is a digital real estate piece in the Sandbox metaverse. You could buy land and build whatever your heart desires on it. We will have access to 166,464 lands within a map that forms a Sandbox metaverse. Your land and everything on it is 100% yours. In order to understand how to play to earn free sands, we must understand that it provides the foundation for transactions within the sandbox, and it is used for the following purposes. By spending sand, players can play games, buy equipment, or customize their avatar. Sand is used by creators to get assets, lands, and earn passive income by staking. Using the DAO structure or decentralized autonomous organization, sand token holders can take part in the governance decisions of the platform. Also, they can exercise their voting rights on key elements, such as funding, payments to creators, and future decisions on the platform roadmap. How to play to earn. Having learned a lot about the sandbox so far, let's delve a bit deeper and discover something called play to earn. This feature is part of what makes the sandbox so unique, a way for anyone to earn sands in a variety of ways. Here are some examples. The sandbox contains many different experiences that players can take part in to collect sands. Sand or other NFTs can be earned by completing tasks and missions. You then can decide whether you want to keep the sand and NFTs or sell them to other players. In the NFT market, the creators of games and assets can monetize and sell to other players, and 95% of the sale price goes to the creator. Other ways to make money. Even if you're not into games or creating assets, other play-to-earn features are in development. Renting out your land to other users is one possibility. Organize events on your land and charge an entry fee or monetize experiences on your land through sand. The staking of sand allows passive revenues to be generated on lands. It is more profitable to stake sand. Besides, this is the only way to get gems and catalysts needed for asset creation. In the sandbox, a large part of transaction fees is redistributed to sand stackers via a fund and stake pool, which is controlled by a community-owned DAO or decentralized autonomous organization. But the biggest way to make money from sandbox is to resell your land. One company bought a property in the Sandbox Metaverse for a record $4.3 million, according to the Wall Street Journal. In the biggest Metaverse property sale to date, Republic Realm, which invests in and develops virtual real estate and other digital assets, purchased the land from Atari SA. As of today, Republic Realm owns about 2,500 plots across 19 worlds. Sometimes, the company decides to sit on vacant Metaverse properties and wait for them to appreciate. In other cases, it pays an architect to design virtual homes or malls, and then hires a game developer to build them, according to the report. Anything is possible inside the sandbox, and this is only the beginning. What you guys think? Will you ever buy a land on Sandbox? Subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss more videos helping you invest in crypto and finance. Best of luck, and as always, none of this is financial advice, and you always have to do your own research. Take care.